Hello and welcome to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys. It is Champions League round of 16 time. The draw has been made. Barcelona know their opponents and there are some fantastic ties right across the board in the Champions League. It's going down. All the latest and all the analysis. It's coming right up. Let's do this. And before we do get started on the draw, I want to first of all confirm the dates these matches will take place. The first leg ties will be split over two midweek dates. First of all, coming on February the 12th and February the 13th. And there'll be another game week on the 19th and 20th of February. Then the return legs will be played over March the 5th and March the 6th. And then March the 12th and March the 13th. So we've got a bit of time to wait. But I tell you now, these games are worth waiting for. And let's kick right off now. Uh, with the way the draw was done indeed and it was Manchester City who was second out of the hat and they will face Schalke in the round of 16 Man City there dominant of course in their domestic division fighting with Liverpool right now for the Premier League title and so so good as well in the Champions League under Pep Guardiola they will face Schalke who are arguably the weakest team in the round of 16 and that could be a really really difficult game right there Man City playing the away leg first with the second leg at the Etihad and I think that really could be right there. A comfortable victory for Pep. You don't want to write anybody off in the round of 16, but that looks a really, really good tie there for Man City in game one. Game two was the first of the big hitter encounters. Atletico Madrid coming up against Cristiano Ronaldo's Juventus. Those two have had a lot of tussles over the years. Atletico Madrid facing Ronaldo will be fired up for this game. First game coming at the Wanda Metropolitana. That is going to be an electric atmosphere there for the round of 16 stage. The second leg then from the Juventus Stadium. It's going to be really, really good game. I think that one. Two sides who are quite pragmatic in the way they play. They're quite happy to play on the counter-attack. And two teams in Allegri and Simeone coming up against each other there. It is going to be a really exciting matchup. That one for me is going to be a really good game. One of the ties of the round. And whoever goes out there is going to be really, really disappointed to go out in the round of 16. Could Ronaldo be heading out of the Champions League in the round of 16? That's a possibility if Atletico Madrid and Antoine Griezmann play at their best. But if they don't, they will be out and once again not quite in the big highs that Atletico Madrid have in recent years if they fall to Juventus. Another big tie is up here in game three. It was Manchester United against Paris Saint-Germain and things really don't get any easier for Jose Mourinho at the helm of Man United right now. Losing to Liverpool yesterday by three goals to one. The manner as well in which they lost. They were dominated at Anfield, a place they never want to be dominated at but it was a really, really good victory for Liverpool there as we're going to come on to them a bit later on but United right now are struggling under Jose Mourinho Paris Saint-Germain want the Champions League more than anything else the likes of Neymar Cavani and Mbappe they are going to be really really up for that game the first leg coming at Old Trafford I think Mourinho there won't want to concede he won't want to get Paris Saint-Germain having that away goal Mourinho as well as being linked with the job at PSG in the past but Thomas Tuchel is there right now and he is hoping to be the man to deliver the Champions League for Paris Saint-Germain and I think right now certainly looking at it on the form of right right now. PSG, big, big favourites for that one. But come the end of February, come the start of March, who even knows where United will be? Who even knows who could be in charge at that point? Up next was the runners-up from our group, which were Tottenham, and they will go up against Bundesliga leaders right now, Borussia Dortmund, who have started the season in incredible fashion. They really have got their mojo back, a lot of structure about their team, a lot of good players. Paco Alcacer banging in the goals. He was again at it at the weekend. He has been phenomenal since joining Dortmund. Dortmund and Tottenham here have got a tough game on their hands. They've got a really difficult game here. We saw them come through in our group. They were not convincing right throughout the entire group stage. Harry Kane carrying them through a few important goals from Christian Eriksen as well. They've got some very, very good players. They're a good coach in Mauricio Pochettino. But I think Dortmund had in it this one. The second leg being at home could be massive. The yellow wall is going to be bouncing. It's going to be an incredible atmosphere. And I think Dortmund are really set up this season if they do play the way that we've seen them do in the domestic league and the Champions League so far. They've got a lot of clean sheets. They're good going forward. Like I say, they're very, very organised. And I think this Champions League campaign is nicely set up for them. And it will not be easy at all for Tottenham. And then it was Lyon against Barcelona in the round of 16. We have officially been drawn against the French side, Olympic Lyon, who coincidentally are the French team to reach the knockout stages on the most occasions ever in the history of the Champions League. Lyon against Barca. And that is going to be, for me, a very, very interesting game indeed. You look at Lyon, you look at the, what kind of team they are. They're not incredibly consistent. They're not somebody who you would regard as a major force in the Champions League. But at the same time, I think they could be 
a really, really tricky team that we're going to have to come up against and cannot, cannot underestimate. Leon finished second in Group F. They ended up five points behind Manchester City and they qualified two points ahead of Shakhtar Donetsk, who finished in third place. But to finish five points behind Man City really does show the inconsistency of Leon right now, simply because when they played Manchester City, they remained unbeaten. They beat them at the Etihad Stadium, 2-1 on the night. They went back to Leon. They were very good against them again, a two-all draw at home against Man City. So over the two games, they were really, really good. But then that was the only game they won. The only game they won was against Man City. They drew against Hoffenheim twice. They drew against Shakhtar twice. And in the end, they just about got through to the knockout stages. And that just shows what they can do. They're brilliant in stages, but at sometimes as well, they can be very, very underwhelming. And it's going to be interesting to see what kind of Leon team we come up against in the round of 16 stage. But I'll tell you now, I am so, so happy that they beat Man City at the Etihad Stadium because that is no mean feat. And now we won't underestimate them. Now you'll look at that game and you'll think, look, that's what they can do. And that's really, really important. We know what they can do. We've seen it there. Now we can analyse that. We can work on that. And we can arrive in this game knowing that if we don't play at our best, if we don't apply ourselves, if we don't come out with the right attitude, we could end up like City did on the receiving end of a Leon shot result. We know that now and we can act on that. That is really, really important. And overall, I think you guys were very, very happy with the way the draw turned out. You look at Leon in Liga and they're currently third right now, 13 points behind PSG in the league, a long way back in Liga and. And if you look at the poll here, you can see a lot of people very happy with the result. A lot of people voting yes, they were happy to draw Leon in the round of 16. But what impressed me the most, what really did make me happy about you guys, I said, look, what do you think of the quality of our opposition? What do you think? How hard is this draw against Leon? And look how many people there are saying, look, this is a tricky game. We're not writing Leon off. We're not casting them aside. We're giving them a lot of respect. We're really saying here, after that Roma game, nobody now, nobody goes under the radar. We will not underestimate anyone. We will not cast anyone aside. We will take every game seriously. And that's what we need to do. That's what the players need to do. That's what Valverde needs to do. And it'll be no different in the round of 16. The team then that we wanted to get in this draw drew Porto next. AS Roma against Porto. And I have to say, Roma right right now really struggling to get their mojo in Serie A. They've not been consistent and it hasn't been good enough from them this season. They're under a lot of pressure in the Champions League. They need to succeed and Porto got through their group pretty comfortably indeed. Up next was Real Madrid who've been drawn there against Ajax and I'll tell you now, that will not be an easy game for Real Madrid. You look at that and you think, you know, Real have got a pretty moderately easy draw there. But Ajax in their group caused Bayern Munich a lot of problems and I think it's going to be really, really interesting to see what sort of situation Real Madrid are in come February come March. Are they going to be back? Are they going to be confident? Or are they actually going to be continuing to struggle and continuing to labour really in a lot of the games they play without a real natural goal scorer in their team right now in the Champions League after Cristiano Ronaldo. So Ajax in that game have got to take confidence into it and they've got to go for Real Madrid and genuinely believe they could do something. And the final game of the round of 16 will be Liverpool against Bayern Munich and that is another tie in this round of 16 stage which I think there is very very exciting indeed. Right now you look at Bayern and you say under Niko Kovac, they haven't really been consistent. They're back in the Bundesliga. They're not top. That's not where they want to be. Bayern in the Bundesliga will never accept anything below first place. But at the same time, like I keep saying, by February, by early March, things could be very, very different indeed. He might have worked out his best team. The players might have got on board with his ideas. And I think that there is a really interesting tie. Klopp, coming up against Bayern, spent so much time in Germany, knows that team like the back of his hand, beat them, of course, to the title in one of his seasons there. He will be desperate to beat Bayern there in the Champions League and very significantly, the home leg first leg is going to be at Anfield and then the second leg at the Allianz. Anfield on European nights is brilliant but they will not have the second leg and they're going to have to start this one well I feel if they are going to get past Bayern in a very exciting game and that does conclude the round of 16 draw. You have right here Schalke against Man City Atletico Madrid coming up against Juventus, Manchester United United taking on Paris Saint-Germain, Tottenham against Borussia Dortmund, Olympic Lyon against Barcelona, AS Roma against Porto, Ajax against Real Madrid and Liverpool coming up against Bayern Munich. It is going to be absolutely fantastic and I am really, really looking forward to all of those ties, watching them unfold, watching the drama of the Champions League. It doesn't get any better than that. It really, really doesn't. The Champions League
Champions League for me, the pinnacle of our season, and it's going to be really interesting. How are we going to do? We've targeted this trophy. We've got Leon. We've got to get through that. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. What do you think of our matchup? What do you think of our game against Leon? How are you feeling about that kind of game? And also, what do you think about the other game? What games in this stage really stand out for you? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I will see you soon. And of course, closer to the time, there will be a lot more videos coming up on our game against Leon. But until then, as always, Vescar El Barca. Yeah.